Your Excellencies, the President and the First Lady of the Republic of Fiji, Honorable Guests, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Ladies and Gentlemen, Bulavinaka and a very good evening to you all. Just over a month ago, Fiji celebrated our first ever Constitution Day here in the capital of Suva. We came together to celebrate a document that, as His Excellency the President said, is our supreme law and the blueprint for the direction of our nation. During those celebrations, as we watched students come forward and read sections of our constitution, we all had the chance to hear again the words that set out the system of governance for our country and that forever protect our rights as Fijians, all equal under the law. It was a very proud moment in our nation's history. It was a moment that affirmed that all Fijians are on the same footing and that we are all equal citizens under the law. And I know that we are looking forward to next year's Constitution Day celebrations, which will extend far beyond Suva into, a, into all four of our divisions. During his address, His Excellency told us that the Constitution is not a stagnant collection of papers, but a living document that has deep meaning in the life of every Fijian. If we want to live up to that promise, then it is important that we do what we can as citizens to keep ourselves informed about what lies within this document itself and how we can live up to its promise. It is also the responsibility of individual actors in our state to live the constitution and to educate the people on the principles of equality, liberty, rule of law, rights and responsibilities by the example they set. Given that our Bill of Rights is now applicable horizontally and vertically, and that the Bill of Rights is applicable not just to the government but to the private sectors, such as companies, associations, other private organizations and NGOs, it is the responsibility of all members of our society to live the values and the principles enshrined in our Constitution and ensure that these values and principles become fully ingrained into the fabric of the Fijian society. That is why as a part of our celebration for the Constitution Day, students nationwide were asked to participate in an art and essay competition themed, Our Fiji, Our Constitution. The competition gave our young people the chance to explore the meaning of the document, to understand the impact that it has on their lives, and to think critically about how our Constitution will shape the future direction of our country. I was honored to join Mr. Peter Maisy, Ms. Justin Doughton and Ms. Jacqueline Spade in judging the 1,262 essays and 2,890 posters submitted to this year's competition. And today I'm very excited to have the opportunity to name the winners of the 2016 Constitution Day Art and Essay Competition. But before I do, I would like to say on behalf of all of the panel of judges what a privilege it was to see and read the work of all of the students who participated. Throughout all of the submissions, we saw genuine curiosity, genuine optimism for our future, and a genuine love for our country. It was a joy for us to see what our students were capable of, and we're all very excited for what the next generation of Fijians has to offer. To our country. <clears throat> Our young people have embraced this constitution and the ideals and the values the constitution has put into law. Due to the success of this year's competition, next year's competition will be open to Fijians of all ages. 
This is because the more voices we can add to this important national conversation, the more perspectives we bring to the table, and the better off we will be. When individuals seek to understand the Constitution and then share that understanding, it starts a national conversation. And in that national conversation, we will find the keys to turning the ideals and values in the Constitution into a national consciousness, so that we will call ourselves Fijians not just because we share the same national territory and culture, but because we understand that we share the spirit of democracy, equality and respect. So now I'm very pleased to announce our 2016 competition winners. In our art competition for students in years one through six, in fifth place we have year five student from Tambia Primary School, Josiah Natuilangi, who has won a Samsung Galaxy tablet, a photocopier for his school, and a $500 cash prize. In fourth place, yes. I, I gotta say, it was just beautiful. I mean, all that we saw, and these were thousands of you know pieces of artwork and um, and essays. It was very moving. In, in fourth place, year five student from Varavu Muslim Primary is Zair Zain Ali, who has also won a Samsung Galaxy tablet, a photocopier for his school, and five hundred dollar cash prize. In third place is year four student from Baroto Primary School, uh, Kashvi Kumar, who's won a Samsung Galaxy, a photocopier for a school, a $750 cash prize in her name, a free one-year subscription to the Fiji Sun, and one Fiji Sun gift bag. In the second place is year two student from Wendamu Damu. As the David S. Bradberg, who has also won a Samsung Galaxy tablet, a photocopier for his school, $750 cash prize, a free one-year subscription to the Fiji Sun, and one Fiji Sun gift bag. And a special congratulations to our first place winner, year five student from Navoli Sangam School, Jalame Rakai Sao who has won a Samsung Galaxy tablet, a photocopier for his school, a thousand dollars cash prize, a free one year subscription to Fiji Sun, and one Fiji Sun gift bag. You have to see this poster, it's amazing. Uh, it's, it's a real invitation to the imagination. Congratulations to our art competition winners. Now moving on to our essay competition. I'd like to first name the five honorable mentions, each of whom will be awarded a Samsung Galaxy, $500 cash prize, a free one-year subscription to the Fiji Sun, and one Fiji Sun gift bag. Your tall student from Lemmy High School, Jopi Vuli Sere, your 11 student from Penang Sangam, Harunesh Hamish Nandan, your 11 student from Ahmedia Muslim, Talida Vaka Sawanga, your seven student from Swami Shardhanan, Ariata Galu Vakandua, and Year 11 student from Duvu College, Akinisi Elizabeth. Congratulations. <laughs> Moving on to our national finalists, in the fourth place we have Year 11 student from Penang Sangam, Deep Shalal, who has won an HP laptop, a photocopier for a school, a Samsung Galaxy, a $500 cash, dollar cash prize, a free one-year subscription to the Fiji Sun, and one Fiji Sun gift bag. In the third place, we have year 13 student from Sat Tavuni Secondary School, Avishek Ashish, who has won a HP laptop, a photocopier for his school, a Samsung Galaxy tablet, a $750 cash prize, a free one-year subscription to the Fiji Sun, and one Fiji Sun gift bag. In the second place, we have year, year 12 student from Yetsen Secondary School, Jessica Chen, who has won a HP laptop, a photocopier for her school, a Samsung Galaxy tablet, a $1,000 cash prize, a free one-year subscription to the Fiji Sun, and one Fiji Sun gift bag. And finally, special congratulations to the national winner of our essay competition, year, year, 12, year 11 student, pardon me, from Xavier College, Aliha 
Anshira Nisha, who has won a fully paid trip of her choice to either India or France to visit the parliament in that country and learn from their constitutions. A HP laptop, a photocopier for her school, a Samsung Galaxy tablet, a thousand dollar cash prize, a free one year subscription to the Fiji Sun and, what, uh, and a Fiji Sun gift bag. Congratulations, Aliha. All cash prices will be deposited into the HFC, uh, HFC bank accounts in the recipient's names. I now have the pleasure of calling upon the first winner to read her essay. And this will be followed by the second winner who will also read her essay. So may I, may I now call upon Aliha and Shira Nisha, please. Thank you. The, good evening. The title of my essay is We Are All Fijians. What can the youths do to promote common and equal citizenry as guaranteed under our constitution? We were all humans until race disconnected us, religion separated us, politics divided us, and wealth classified us. These divisible lines are the reasons equality is deliberated with considerable concern all over the world and entrenching it firmly in all societies is a mammoth task. The basis of impartiality in a country is undoubtedly equal and common citizenry contrived through the nation's law. This essay aims to scrupulously deliberate on how equal and common citizenry is achieved in Fiji, its imperativeness and how the youth as citizens of the country and its future generations promote it. All the nation's constitutions are tools that maintain law and order, ensure the rights of all citizens are protected, and provide justice and equality for all. The Constitution of the Republic of Fiji, for instance, states that, and I quote, the Republic of Fiji is a sovereign democratic state founded on the values of a common and equal citizenry and national unity, unquote. The most effective of all laws that help achieve equal citizenry is the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights in Fiji, and I quote, provides specific provisions guaranteeing a range of civil and political rights and, for the first time, social and economic rights. These include the right to education, economic participation, a just minimum wage, transport, housing, food and water, health and social security, unquote. The Bill of Rights is applicable to every citizen of Fiji, thus has a vast scope when it comes to achieving equality amongst the citizens. Equal citizenry makes up the foundation of a fair society. A fair society will avert any one section from dominating other sections. To begin with, each member of an equal society is given equal opportunity in life. Hence, everyone is able to achieve their full potential. A population of self-actualized citizens have a better chance of leading their nation towards progress. The eradication of discrimination will also build solidarity between people. These strengthened bonds play a great role in achieving a meaty and a team atmosphere in a country. Moreover, having an equivalent say when it comes to choosing their own leaders will enable people to place their trust on the governing body. This truly is the basis of true democracy. There can be no daily democracy without daily citizenship. Writing legislations in the constitution of the country does not necessarily mean that a problem is well and truly eliminated from the society. In order to curb inequality among the citizens of Fiji, the citizens themselves are a principal component. Among the citizens of the country, the contribution of the youths is extremely vital as they are the future of the nation. Given the imperativeness of the involvement of youth in the country, the youth themselves should take on the responsibility and try to voice out in favor of equal citizenry. The main thing all youths are given the opportunity to do and should do from the age of 18 is to vote. This is a way in which everyone can exercise their equal citizenry as well as contribute towards the continuation of just governance. Furthermore, joining local youth groups helps get the young people to network with each other and talk openly about common citizenry. Engaging into such deliberations helps get one's point across to other youths who will also get inspired 
and passionately engage themselves into the battle against discrimination. Making the public aware about the issue can be done in various ways which utilizes the creativity in youths. For example, dances, posters, songs, plays and so on. This way will ensure that the point is given across through an attractive medium which increases the chances of it getting through to the public successfully. Other mediums are also available for the young people of Fiji to voice out their opinions and concerns. A good example of this is the youth parliament sessions that are organized as they allow youths from all over the country to deliberate and debate on various issues of concern. If such opportunities surface in a youth's life, it is pivotal for the youth to make the most out of it and get the point across in a clear, detailed way that benefits the country in the generations to come. The awareness part is central when supporting equal citizenry, but it is of very little significance if it is not well established at the grassroots level. For the youth to be active citizens and make others aware of the importance of an equal society, it is mandatory that they themselves practice what they are preaching about. This would mean respecting the constitution as the supreme law of the country and abiding by it. Treating everyone equally in their community is also a must and this means that the youth should not be discriminating anyone based on their race, status, gender, sexual orientation or disability. Equal treatment of students in schools by their peers and engaging themselves with activities from other sections of their community would also be a good start towards achieving common citizenry. Voicing out when they see an unjust practice can also make a difference. Small actions often help make a great deal of difference in the society. In conclusion, equal citizenry is indeed a great factor when it comes to achieving unity in a country. Unity is what eventually leads towards peace and development. Working together as equals on the basis of common citizenry is how the people of Fiji can take Fiji forward. The legislations are already in effect, so what the youth needs to need to do as the future of the country is to promote the concept of equal citizenry as guaranteed under the present constitution. One person can make a def difference and everyone should try. Thank you. And the title is Moving Fiji Forward with Equality. Every society has a common goal, and that is to have unity and equality. However, not every single person thinks or feels the same way and always conclude that they are more superior to others. Many people have been fighting for different equalities, such as female rights and gay rights, for many years, but these have only been taken seriously the past few years. This essay will express my opinions on how youth can help move Fiji forward by promoting common and equal citizenry. To begin with, as a Chinese student, I have faced a lot of racist remarks about my culture, how we look and how we speak. Even so, I never take these comments to heart because I believe that those who speak with such words are ignorant. Therefore, the first step to having equality is for everyone to have a solid foundation of education about treating everyone equally. We can achieve this by teaching the future generation to have common and equal citizenry, and they must not speak ill or look down on others just because they are different from them. In addition, I am also aware that those who do not agree with being equal as others are also very narrow-minded. Having said that, we must not blame them for their behavior because that was how they were brought up. However, there are ways in which we can change their mindsets and perspective about certain issues by showing them that discriminating others is wrong and they should be more open about human differences. We can also show them how determined we are in achieving equal citizenry. Quote, everybody thinks that equality comes from identifying people and that's not where equality comes from. Equality comes from treating everybody the same regardless of who they are." Unquote. This is a famous quote about equality by Matthew Boma. In order to promote equality, we must treat everyone fairly. It does not matter what race they are, their gender, religion or preferences. Treating, one, treating everyone fairly means allowing everyone to have access to the same opportunities and chances as stated in the Constitution of the Republic of Fiji, Chapter 2, Bill of Rights, 26, Right to Equality and Freedom from Discrimination. Quote, 
every person is equal before the law and has the right to equal protection, treatment, and benefit of the law, unquote, unquote. Every person has the right to access, membership, or admission without discrimination on a prohibited ground to shops, hotels, lodging houses, public restaurants, places of public entertainment, clubs, education, institutions, public transportation services, taxis, and public places, unquote. Equality can also be achieved by having cultural activities such as cultural language classes, sing-alongs, and story time so that we can have a mutual understanding of one another's culture. Additionally, the citizens of the nation should also get together during national celebrations like our recent victory from the Rio Olympics in an effort to bring people together and united. Furthermore, the important elements of equality are honesty, kindness, compassion, treating people the way you want to be treated, and helping those in need. These are values that should be first taught at home. By teaching these values to our younger siblings of this nation, they will be able to grow up with having these values at the back of their heads and become better and compassionate citizens. To sum it all up, here are two quotes by Malala Yousafzai an activist for female education who laments that, quote, we cannot all succeed when half of us are held back, unquote. This quote implies that we cannot move Fiji forward if most of us are still narrow-minded. Instead, we must embrace changes because change is inevitable, and those who are not on board will get left behind. In addition, the second quote reads, quote, there should be no discrimination against languages people speak, skin color, or religion. Unquote. This quote is one of the main mottos we must have in order to attain e equality. To conclude, a small nation like Fiji has already proved to the world that we are world-class champions when it comes to the seventh code in rugby. With limited resources, no proper equipment and training, we prove to the world that we can be united and stronger when we come together as one. Thank you.